Well, hello and welcome to a very grey and damp Mongolia. I'm here on a two-week adventure on a hired motorbike. Yes, it's that one right there, a 150cc. Just to let you know, a bit of background, I've only just passed my CBT test. And I've got about eight hours of motorbiking under my belt. Really, none of it's off-road either. So, how's it gone so far? Eh, we have to watch it all to find out. But here's a few highlights, and then we're going to go right back to the beginning where it all began when I was headed out to get the plane to come out to Mongolia. I hope you enjoy. Holy shit. No, sorry, not possible. Not as bad now as it was 10 minutes ago, but keep it going. There we go. Bike's gone over. Now I'm starting first game with the patch on. <laughs> Okay. Hello. It's not starting. So why is that? Yeah. And just uh, rough it out. Morning oats. It's like a torture cell. <laughs> Looks like a morning yoga session started up. Oh, I just got to be sound. <laughs> yes, it's been raining. Good morning and welcome. Uh, it's very early in the morning, way too early. I'm at Heathrow and this is day one and I'm on my way to Frankfurt. And from there, I'm gonna to go to Mongolia. So, um, yeah, I'm very, very tired. I've gotten hardly any sleep last night. So, uh, right, now let's get to Frankfurt. And now, I'm in Frankfurt. And now, I'm in Ulaanbaatar, in Mongolia. It's quick as that, it's so easy with this editing stuff. Although, I'll tell you what, I blooming well feel it. Um, the flight was fine, although didn't really get much sleep. And um, getting the transfer from the airport, oh my God, it took me two hours. The traffic in Ulaanbaatar is just awful. It's just gridlock everywhere. So it's now 11 o'clock, so it's a lot later. I was hoping to be here at 9 o'clock, but it's now 11. Uh, I'm going to have a cup of coffee, leave to about 12 and get some lunch. Um, I might have a little snooze, actually, because I'm shattered. It's still, for me, with the hour difference, it's about 2 in the morning, I think. 3 in the morning, I don't know. Um, anyway, then we're going to go do a bit of shopping. So uh, let's go and have a look at Ulaanbaatar. Good morning, it is now, I don't know which morning it is, it's, it's, it's a morning. It is, 10 to 10. I was supposed to go shopping yesterday, but um, <laughs> yeah, I had lunch at the hotel. And I was just shattered, absolutely shattered, so that didn't happen. So I come out today, it's a beautiful hot day, too hot in fact. And we're in the main square here. Something's going on, I know we've got, uh, in a few weeks time, there's a big festival. Uh, it's at the Nan Nan Dam Festival. Um, but they're all dressed up, they're having a lovely time. I'm going to do some shopping now, buy all the bits I need, so uh, and let's get on with that. Well, so far I've been shopping for um, ooh, two hours and I managed to get pants and socks and that's it. The camping shop I was really looking for, really good on the internet, I can't find it. I'm probably going to have to go back to the hotel later, have a look, because I can't get any signal here at the minute. I see why I can't seem to find that one I want. Meanwhile, there is another camping shop. 15 minute walk that way. We're going to go and have a look to see what they've got to offer. I have found the trainers I want in that big department store, but um, I'm just going to shop around before I, before I commit. So I've still got quite a bit to do before lunch. Okay. Interesting piece of sculpture for you in the middle of uh, Hulan Bittar. A bit loud around here. The good news, I found the store looks behind me. Hey, I bought some bits. Uh, the bad news is I hadn't actually marked it on the map. And why hadn't I marked it on the map? 
because it's two kilometers out of town. So I walked all the way down here. I've got a sweat on now just to get here. Um, and they've got some nice stuff in, but not everything I wanted, to be fair. Um, I got myself a nice collapse collapsible tiny uh, chair, which you'll see later. And I got myself a, um, a really nice poncho and it's quite good quality stuff. So none of it was cheap. Now I'm gonna walk back into town and get my shoes and get some lunch. Okay, here we go. See what I forgot to mention that lunch I just had, which is very nice, cost me uh, grand sum of two pound fifty. Um, so even though we're in the uh, capital here, things are very, very cheap. Apart from the train, so it's just about to like they're pretty much European prices. But otherwise, it's particularly cheap, pretty good. Uh, that's me done with the shopping. It is now half past three. God, I'm shattered. So my hotel is about a mile that way, I think, and I've just about had enough. Isn't that pretty behind me? Look at that. Um, all right, back to the hotel and have a shower. Oh. Ah, good morning, here we are, Saturday morning. And I'm here to pick the bike up. There's lots of bikes behind me. My bike is right here. She is. Oh, Shinare, 150. Look at that, look at that. So, I've already taken it out for a little test drive. And, uh, yeah, actually it was all right. So not bad actually. Um, something slightly different to what I'm used to. So if you look at this bit here, because you've got the clutch up and down, but that's going back. So a bit different. So what I've got to do now um, is load it up. It's like about an hour, I reckon. <sighs> I'm a bit nervous, a bit nervous. It's a bit hot today as well. I'll get some funny looks. And I'll get them to smile at you. <laughs> this is Anna. Anna. So, this is Anna, Anna sorts the bikes out, so uh -huh. hopefully it'll all go well. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> right, let's get packing. Ah, okay, so it's now midday, midday already. Um, I've loaded it all up, I dropped the bike once. I dropped the bike at one point, anyway. There we go, all loaded up. That looks pretty good so far. <laughs> Apparently some people really have it packed up high, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it will be okay. So we're gonna go up and down the road a little bit to see how it goes and then uh, go from there. Ooh. Right, wish me luck. See you. <laughs> oh, good start. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. So these knee pads are a bit big, aren't they? Oh, a bit bouncy with all of this on. Getting neutral is a pain. There's neutral. Right. Yeah. All right, so this is the first section I'm doing on tarmac. It's about 16 kilometers. Um, first thoughts on the bike: it's a little bit rattly, but you know, and neutral's a pain in the ass to find. But you know, it's not an issue, I reckon. We can live with that. And also, I've never driven a bike with all this weight on before. And, uh, it's a bit sort of wobbly. 
just to put it in perspective, uh, the 16 kilometers I'm doing, which I've done eight already, halfway, is the longest single run I've ever done on a bike on tarmac. Yeah, I know. Yeah, it's stupid really, isn't it? Let's just hope it all goes well. I think we're coming to the bit where um, we're gonna leave the road. I think I'm going up the edge of there somewhere. Let's have a look over here. Yep, this is correct. I'm gonna go nice and easy now. <laughs> Because my phone isn't staying on, so I can see the map, I've got a feel I'm going to be uh, stopping quite often at the minute to uh, just check my route. Because this first section is just where you see it's bloody paths all over the place. So, oh, I'll tell you what, a bit of weight on the back, that front can half skid out if you're not careful. I think I'm going over there. Okay, which way? I think we are kind of just going straight. This is going to the quarry. I think we've got to go over here. Well, oh. <laughs> yeah, so definitely over that side there. So we just go over there then. We'll be all right. Break about half a kilometre of crap. And then hopefully it just kind of be one half. That's where I've got to be. Over there. Sad, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, yeah, whoa, come on. Oopsies. Beauty! Hello! Which way should we go? Go this way, I think. See, that looks like a much better path over there, actually. See that there? Maybe I should be on that one. That's the more industrial path. Ah, you haven't said that, though. Oh, I'm going to have to check the map again. Oh, that's really sandy there. Be really tricky. Yeah, I'm way off, so definitely got to get over to there. So if I go down there and I can probably cut across. Yeah, cut across there. Ooh, look at this. that back pedal standing up you accidentally hit it hit the old uh, going up a gear whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. power is your friend wow yeah look at that track there that's yeah, been definitely has been yeah let's get on there I think that's where we need to be Sand. Power through. There we go. So always a, always a fun bit. So we got a there, a there, and we got there. Lots of cattle there. So we're really getting out into it now. This section here, I reckon, is uh, middle of nowhere. All right. So let's try and find out. Still straight. Looks like we're going straight up there. Straight up, I think. Okay, let's do that. Straight up it is. So I've got about another 110 kilometers to go. 
before I reach what I consider to be my first camp, which is a, um, uh, it's kind of a mount, bit of a small mountain, and it's got some uh, religious uh, attachment to it. So that's all I know. Oh, almost went. So you muck around with the camera, I'm trying to turn the camera on while I'm riding along. On your first day, what's going to happen is you're going to pay attention to what you're doing. Look at that. Holy shit. Right, kids translate a bit, it was just like, nope, sorry, not possible, not possible. Not as bad now as it was 10 minutes ago, but look at that weather. 